In this video, I'm going to show you how to design circuits with the NAND gates only or NOR gates only, so-called technology mapping. Suppose we have a function uh, given as follows, uh, and then uh, we first find the most simplified expression, and then out of that we are going to draw circuits. If the given function is given in a Boolean expression, so we need to find all the min terms or max terms so that we can construct a K map. So first our term in this expression is A not to B C. So A not to B C uh, variable D is missing. So that represents a zero, one, one, don't care. So in this term we'll contribute the two min terms, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, so min term 6 and 7 there. And second term in the expression is A, B, D, so variable C is missing, which is don't care condition. So 1, 1, don't care, 1 is uh, to represent uh, this second term. So in this term contributes two min terms, uh, 1, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 1, 1, 1, so 13 and 15. So the last term in the function, d not d not, we have two variables missing. So it represents the don't care zero, don't care zero, which contributes four min terms. So out of that, we can organize all those min terms in order. So this is a min term expression for the function f. Out of this, we can construct a k map. So here is a k map. Uh, I give uh, some uh, color coding. So red ones means a prime, essential prime implicant. Black ones are a prime implicant. The black one with the bold lines are the one chosen to be the part of the simplified expression. So here, simplified ex expression is there. But it happens to be the original equation is in most simplified form already. But we verified that using K map. So once we have uh, the most simplified expression, then we are going to draw the circuit. So here is the circuit. Basically, we use AND gates and OR gates. So first level, we use AND gates. We put all those three terms, uh, AND terms, and then output of those three AND terms are or the together, which is a Boolean expression f, and this is a circuit expression for f. So we have the design. But remember from the lecture video, in the actual VLSI manufacturing technology, they go either NAND gate or NOR gate. They don't use AND or OR gate. So we need to transform this circuit into corresponding technology. Uh, if the expression is given in uh, some of a product's form, then we could easily convert it to NAND gate only. Uh, recall the relationship between uh, NAND gates and and or. Here is the summary that the NAND gate is basically output of the end is inverted. So this is a NAND gate. But when, when we have OR gate, we can also easily convert it to NAND gate. If we invert all inputs, then this is a Boolean expression like that using the Morgan's theorem here. So those two are equivalent forms. So NAND gates could be drawn uh, output inverted AND or input in inverted OR gate. So either one is a NAND gate, but this one is actually preferred form, but either one is okay. So what, what it means is that when we have a AND OR gate circuit, we can easily convert it to NAND gates only by having inverters at the all outputs of the AND gate, by adding inverters up in all inputs of all OR gates. So here we can do using that idea. So all those AND gates to make it uh, NAND only, we need to put inverter at the output. But as we put inverter, it logically the circuit is uh, changed. So we need to make 
uh, the circuit logical equivalent, the way to do so is if we add another inverter on the same line, then we have a knot, and another knot, together becomes a, again, cancels out. So logically, we maintain the same circuit. So here, we have AND gate, we add inverter to make it NAND, but to make it logically the whole circuit equivalent, we need to add the inverter so on the same line. So here we convert the end to NAND, but to, to retain the logic of the entire circuit, we need to add the inverter on the same line. When we have OR gate, OR and the NAND gate relationship is if all inputs of the OR gates have inverters added, then this is the same as an end gate. Since we added the inverters at the inputs, logically the whole circuit gets changed. So to make it logically equivalent for each inverter we added, we need to add another inverter so that those two cancels out. Logically, uh, the circuit remains unchanged. So we need to add another inverter here. We need to add an another inver inverter here. So by adding those inverters are uh, uh, pairwise, uh, so we can retain the whole circuit unchanged. What we have done so far is that we have converted uh, this end gate to NAND uh, by adding an uh, uh, inverter at the output. Similarly for this one, similarly for this one. And then for the OR gate, uh, by adding inverters uh, in all its inputs, uh, we have uh, converted uh, this one to NAND gate. So the goal is uh, to make a whole circuit with the NAND gates only. So here we have made now for the added inverters and now if they are in the pairs uh, then we can cancel that um, out logically or uh, precisely speaking on the same line if we have an even number of inverters uh, they all cancel out. So on this line we have uh, two inverters uh, so those two cancels out. On this line, two inverters, we canceled it out. On this line, two inverters are left over, so we canceled it out. So we can simply replace those of the four gates by an end gate, then making the whole circuit NAND gates only. So if we can redraw the circuit this way. So this is a, a resulting technology mapping. And let me go back. And if uh, on certain line, suppose that three inverters are left over, or one, uh, uh, other numbers of inver inverters are left out, then what you need to do is uh, those two even numbers uh, you can cancel out. You need to leave uh, one inverter on the line so that the whole circuit is uh, maintained uh, unchanged. Now, uh, we want to change the entire circuit into the NOR gates only because uh, the technology requirement on the manufacturing side is NOR gates. So then, what you need to do is, is uh, uh, find the function expression in terms of a uh, product of sums by grouping max terms. So, for the same circuit as we began, so this is a, a max term ex expression. So, K map is drawn this way and then we do same thing prime implicants and essential prime implicants uh, so red ones are EPIs uh, and the black ones are PIs uh, the bold ones are the PI chosen to be simplified which uh, makes the whole expression the most simplified form so the resulting expression is uh, like that now from this uh, we can uh, draw circuit, then circuit looks like this. So we have a, a first uh, stage, we have OR gate, OR gates for each uh, term, we have a four uh, OR gates, and then output of those OR gates are in the end relationship. So this is a circuit using end OR gates. But technology mapping requires that we have to design with the NOR gates only, then how we do so? We do similarly. First, uh, remember the relationship. OR and NOR. If we have OR 
then the inverted output of OR is the same as NOR gates. For AND gates, if you invert all inputs, then whole circuit becomes a NOR gate. So to change from OR to NOR, simply add inverter at the output. To change from AND to NOR, you need to put inverter for each input. That's how we transform the circuit. So let me go back. So for OR gates, uh, we add the uh, inverter at the output, but to make the whole circuit logically unchanged, uh, we need to add uh, another inverter so that the whole function remains unchanged. So similarly, for each OR gate, uh, we put inverter at the output and then add uh, another inverter on the same line to make the circuit equivalent uh, from the original form and for AND gate uh, to change it NOR remember we need to put inverter for each input then this one becomes a NOR gate since we added the inverter on all in all, each input to make it logically equivalent, uh, we need to add an inverter for each line where we added a... Uh, the inverter looks very weird, uh, but I think you are smart enough to see that clearly. So here is uh, what we did, uh, uh, and uh, what I will be is uh, this is a uh, NOR gate, this is NOR gate, and this is NOR gate. And this is NOR gate, and uh, this one is NOR gate. So we converted uh, each OR gate and each NAND gate to NOR gates only. Now we need to take care of uh, those added uh, inverters. Uh, if uh, we find uh, even number of inverters on the same line, we cancel them out. Here we have two, so we cancel those two out. This line, cancel out. This line, cancel out. This line, cancel out. Fortunately, all of those are gone, so we can finalize the circuit this way. So we have successfully converted all gates to NOR only. So this is how we do technology mapping.